Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you've all had a fantastic Friday and a brilliant week so far. Today we're going to be diving into Cardano and we've got lots to undress in this video. Yesterday we looked at why the cryptocurrency market sold off. We released three videos, they are all well worth the watch. We cover things like Evergrande and we cover things like the CPI and why markets don't make no sense. Uh, and one thing that I, I try and reiterate to you guys, and we've been saying it for a very long time now, through the highs and lows, is price is often determined um, based on external factors. And that is indeed what we saw yesterday with the crypto space as a whole. We've got lots to go in. I am still absolutely maintaining my bullish bias. Um, I know how it's been to hold throughout this period. Essentially, Cardano has been selling off now for uh, 72 days. Um, and it's very much been like pulling teeth. You guys know that I have a background in dentistry, uh, nothing technical, um, which may surprise some of you. Um, but I'm an investor and this has been quite a challenging period for many of us. Um, but ultimately, if you understand what you're believing in, one reason I come on here and make daily videos on Cardano is because I believe in the project. We're going to talk about that in this video. We're going to take a look at this tweet from Charles. I'm really loving how the roadmap for 2022 Cardano is coming together. It's a living ecosystem growing, refining, adapting, and becoming stronger. The technology is unbelievable, um, and we have so many great innovations coming to meet the hundreds of projects building on top of Cardano. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, and I believe in hindsight, this is going to be looked at as a time of accumulation. We've shown you a lot in support of that, like our Wyckoff accumulation schematic. Um, we are gonna dive into the shorter term price um, because I think people are still very, very um, bearish. In actual fact, I took full advantage of this and took this as an opportunity to load up on Cardano uh, to use in the DeFi ecosystem that I know is coming. You know, Cardano is going to get eaten up within DeFi um, and I'm gonna certainly help that process with interacting with some of these protocols to try and farm yield, etc., etc. But there's a number of things going on here that we'll talk about on the short term time frame. Um, I want to just really prove to you that markets make absolutely no sense. And we did cover this in more detail in one of our uh, latter videos yesterday. And that is the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, which kind of monitors inflation, if you will. This is the rate that consumer price, consumer products are going up um, and your dollar value essentially is going down. This is at 6.5%. Those stats came out on the 10th. On the 10th of... Um, November this month, we saw a huge run in dollar strength, the DXY, uh, the dollar currency index. Um, this was off of news that inflation was essentially at all-time highs. Uh, not all-time highs, sorry, but a very high level, uh, 2008 levels, uh, and prior to that, um, 1990 levels. Um, so markets often don't make sense. We did cover in yesterday's video the fact that we saw a lot of people run into Bitcoin as a hedge. You can see it here on the charts. And then this very much got shorted. Bitcoin looks very strong, guys. You're holding your EMA. Um, and I believe this is going to continue. We have released another video today. I don't know whether that's before this one or after. Uh, I'm not sure when I've actually released it, um, where we're talking about plan B stock to flow model. And is Bitcoin going to 100K plus by the end of the year? Uh, I'm very, very bullish still on the crypto space. And I don't want any of you to get shaken out. I 100% understand how frustrating this price action has been. But in hindsight, guys, if you understand what's coming for Cardano, if you really know and have done your due diligence on the, pro on the project, you can be anything, you can't be anything but bullish um, in terms of a monetary point, in terms of a, a price reflection of that project. And it's not being represented right now in the charts. We've shown you this through a number of different variables, a number of different points, such as the fact that the on-chain metrics are at all-time highs, the growth of the network is at all-time highs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The price has just continued to go sideways. This is largely due to market conditions, Yesterday was a fantastic representation of um, the fact that price isn't always correlated to an underlying asset. There is, of course, an element there, but this is something you need to understand as investors, which is why we look at Bitcoin. Not that many people watched my Bitcoin videos yesterday, but they are well worth a watch because if you are in an altcoin, you need to pay attention to Bitcoin and understand what Bitcoin is doing um, because if Bitcoin's having a bad day, guess what? The market is still largely tethered to it and is going to follow. And Bitcoin had a bad day yesterday really based on um, whale games and global financial um, status um, in the terms of Evergrande. And we, we covered that also in yesterday's video and how it does look likely that they are going to default, but later on down the road now. 
Um, so where to start? Well, uh, let's. Well, we've already started. Let's talk about where we are in the short term. Um, this has been painful. You know, I've already said that. Um, but one thing that I really want to point out, guys, is in terms of a very small term time frame. This is a low. These are higher lows that you're witnessing now, ladies and gentlemen. These are also higher highs on a short term time frame. I'm expecting continuation in this. I think there is an undeniable amount of similarities between this structure here and the structure that you're currently going through. And trying to time the bottom perfectly, um, no one's gonna get it 100% spot on, but honestly, and this is not financial advice, this is, this is my belief, this entire period is going to look like a fantastic buying opportunity, which means right now you potentially are getting in at the bottom, in my opinion. Now that perhaps might not play out uh, just because it looks very likely. doesn't mean that it's going to continue. I didn't really expect um, Evergrande and global markets to take such a toll as they did and to see this kind of 19% sell-off within Cardano uh, that we saw on the 11th. Um, but that's just markets for you guys. Um, ultimately, nothing's changed. You know, this sell-off wasn't really anything to do with ADA. Uh, and that is in itself quite a bullish um, fact and a, a confirming factor to what we say uh, when we say that price is largely untethered to the underlying asset and dictated by a, a variable of uh, external forces. Um, so I think that there's a huge amount of similarities between this structure that we had uh, previously, the May kind of sell-off. Um, and where we are and what you're setting up for right now. Uh, and I'm exceptionally bullish, as, as bullish as I've been throughout this entire time period. You know, I don't know how you can look at Cardano and be anything, but certainly if you know what's coming, which is what Charles was really highlighting in this tweet. Um, so you can see there are huge similarities. You downtrend, you downtrend. You have this kind of, if we follow along with it, you have this kind of low that gets bought back up, flipping you bullish above your EMA on the four hour league. You can see this, you come down, you sell off, you come back up. Uh, and then you kind of grind along and you have these kind of impulsions before setting up for more continuation. There is huge similarities between these two structures, guys. And that's really what I'm paying attention to. Um, we'll take a look at the inverted chart. You guys like, know that I do uh, like to do that. Okay. Here we go. You can see things still do look good. You have definitely started that spiller, in my opinion, uh, and ultimately we are expecting this to continue to spill to the downside, which of course the right way up is um, uh, more continuation in this bull run. You know, we're still on this trajectory here of your Elliott Wave theory. There's a number of things that scream buy to me, uh, and this is another one in regards to this EMA and how it acts and where you are. This kind of re reconcil reconsolidation with your EMA uh, your 20 EMA on the weekly has always typically been a fantastic buying opportunity. You also have your hard forks. After that has always typically been very um, a, a good place to enter the market because your hype has died down. It finds a kind of price uh, range and then it will kind of impulse from there and start rebuilding. So that's what we're expecting. Bitcoin looks fantastic. We did make an earlier video on Bitcoin. Well worth the watch. We're talking about plan B stock to flow model. Um, if you guys aren't already in the Discord, there is a link for it in the description. We would love to have you in there. Um, some fantastic community members in there already. Very thought-provoking conversation taking place. Um, and we'd love it if you guys were a part of that. So that's really all I have for you. The market seems to be not really doing a lot. Um, you always get a kind of ripple effect after a sell-off. We did say that to you in yesterday's video that there's usually like a retail trickle of, of panic uh, that takes place. So you'll usually have, and we actually drew exactly what's happened for those of you who watched yesterday's videos. You have a sharp kind of panic, the actual sell-off. And then you'll get um, somewhat revenge trading is a very good way to call it. And then you'll actually get a retail spillage, a retail trickle. And that's what you're seeing. You know, the markets and certainly charts tell a story. You know, this, what you have in front of you, to many of you may just look like a chart, but there's a story, there's a narrative that's gone with all of this. Um, there's reasoning, you name it, it's there. Um, so that is really all I have for you in this video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are gonna do a long video on 2022 and what's coming. Uh, this is where we are gonna move into the Basho era, which tackles scaling. Um, Cardano, I think, is around about 250 to 300 TPS per second, transactions per second, which is fine for the network load at the moment. But when we see perhaps payment channels and stuff like that uh, utilize the Cardano blockchain, the scalability is need to go up in, uh, you know, significantly. Uh, in the Basho era, we're gonna see things like Hydra implemented. Um, which is going to be huge. Hydra is a scaling solution. 
Um, it's very, very interesting. Uh, it will essentially mean that Cardano potentially could scale to one to two million transactions per second, making it essentially one of the most scalable blockchains that we have today. Not only that, it's not just a scalable blockchain, it's a usable and useful blockchain. You know, this is, if you do your due diligence on Cardano, you come to this amazing conclusion that it is a solid investment, not financial advice or just my own opinion. I'm sure many of you already are on board with that. But things look good, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want people to get shaken out. Yes, the price action is frustrating, it's, it, it's boring, it's annoying, it's this, it's that. But ultimately, guys, there are brighter days on the um, horizon. Uh, and you just need to hang in there. And one thing that I will very quickly highlight before I love and leave you is these sell-offs, 16%, um, are very, this was 39%. Can you see how common and volatile crypto is? You just need to understand, the, the, the key to making money, can you see all these, 35%? The key to making money in crypto is being able to hold, being able to withstand the volatility, being able to understand what you're investing in. We've shown you the dot-com stocks to come out of the dot-com boom and how volatile they were. You know, 19% sell-off in actual fat guys is somewhat, it might not feel mild to many of you out there, but it's somewhat mild in comparison. I mean, we've been here a million times for God, and look at this price movement. Continue to make lower lows until eventually, you come out and you break a high. And we did indeed do that with ADA. We broke this high here. Um, which was significant. Um, we also broke this high here and we rejected off this one. I have told you on previous videos that you always need to target highs on the way down as areas of resistance because they stand above you and they've been current at, uh, previous areas of sell pressure. Um, and that's exactly what you need to do. So I'm gonna love and leave you on that note, guys. Things look good. Watch out for the Bitcoin video. It may have already come out. Um, and also we have a VeChain video on the way. I'm gonna love and leave you on that note, guys. Remember, we do have the all-in uh, stake pool. Cardano Stake Pool, it's the official all in crypto stake pool. We would love to have you guys come and stake with us. We are at 700, uh, over 700,000 ADA stakes so far, and we're growing on a daily basis in terms of delegators. We'd love to have you on board. That is all I have for you in this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to love and leave you on that note. If you've enjoyed the content, like us, always appreciated. So is a comment, and I'll catch you all in the next one.